Okay, this is gonna be kind of a funny coaching video, but a few of you have asked me about fast food and why I don't go and uh, for me to comment on that. So I'm just gonna do this quick coaching video uh, to tell you why I stopped going to McDonald's, I stopped going to Burger King, I stopped going to Jack in the Box, and I stopped going to Wendy's. It's mainly those four. Um, oh, and Carl's Jr. I really don't go to these main fast food places anymore. Uh, however, I still go to In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A, and I will tell you why. And you'll be surprised. This is beyond just the health aspect, right? So it's not just for healthy reasons. You might think, oh, I already know why he doesn't go there because it's, it's bad food or whatever. And it's like, no, it's actually beyond that because every once in a while, I used to like to treat myself. I mean... If I wanted a Big Mac or something, I'm like, oh man, I gotta go take advantage and go get a Big Mac, right? And uh, recently they were having like a two for five Big Mac deal. I was like, oh, I haven't seen that in a while. Ooh, yeah. But then I was reminded like, nah, don't wanna deal with it. Don't, I'm not going, right? Even though it was a day where I would treat myself, I think I went to Cheesecake Factory. I ended up going to a restaurant instead. I just refused to go to McDonald's, Burger King, Jack in the Box, Wendy's, Carl's Jr. Those are the main fast food restaurants here in the US and it might be different in your country I know in uh, the McDonald's like in Sweden or you know other countries they look vastly different than the McDonald's here in the States because my buddy lives in Sweden and uh, I remember I was looking at photos of McDonald's there I was like what there are hotties working behind the counter I literally there are hot chicks working McDonald's in Sweden it was insane um, I'm like no you don't see that here <laughs> you don't see like young like hotties, like fresh out of high school working at McDonald's. Anyway. You, don't, you just don't see that shit here anymore. You used to back in the day. One of my first girlfriends in high school worked at Burger King. And that's where I met her. I met her at Burger King. I didn't even know the, like where she went to school yet. And then turned out we went to neighboring high schools. And then she was my first girlfriend. She was super cute. She was only 14 at the time. And she was working at Burger King. You would not see somebody like young and cute working at any of those establishments I mentioned these days, with the exception of Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out. Which brings me to my point of why I stopped going to specifically Burger King, Jack in the Box, McDonald's, Wendy's, and Carl's Jr. Their hiring practices are horrible. I don't blame the people working there for their lack of customer service, their lack of um, ability to get your order right, or whenever you ask for extra sauces, them looking at you like you have two heads. I got tired of dealing with the stress of that. I got tired of dealing with the rude behaviors, the gasping, like, <sighs> like, oh, hey, uh, could I get an extra sauce? <sighs> you know, and shit like that. It's like, dude, really? You treat your customers like this? And this is a major corporation. This is one of the main reasons I stopped going to the, just those five establishments alone was the lack of customer service. It was like the the rudeness man it was like beyond lack of customer service it was like flat out rudeness one too many times not all the time but very often very often and if you live in the states you go through fast food i guarantee you've experienced the same right i don't necessarily blame the employee so much i am i blame the person who hired them i blame their management i blame the owner of that franchise Right, because a lot of these McDonald's and Burger Kings and fast food joints are franchised. So I blame the franchise owner. And it's like, yes, you're trying to save on labor costs. But then again, you could be a little bit more careful about who you hire. And uh, a lot of them just don't care anymore. There's been a huge shift in the amount or lack thereof of customer service that you got like back again, like even back when I was in high school or college to uh, really just, this is just seems like the last uh, probably since the 2000s uh, that it's gone really downhill um, the quality of the food's gone down as well yeah I just decided that I wasn't gonna go to these places anymore and it really had nothing to do with health I never went to these places every day anyway I just usually went like once or twice a week um, when I'd give myself a break and I just usually get like a hamburger or something. I mean, I wouldn't load up. I just get something easy. It was almost kind of stressful to go through the line, especially when I go through the line with my girl because she would want like, oh, make sure you ask for this sauce, get butter. Like she likes plain butter. And a lot of times I'm like, oh, can I get this? And then a butter. And then instead of giving me like an actual butter, they give me like a buttermilk sauce or something. I'm like, no, she wants butter. And they're like, what do you mean butter? You have butter, butter? And I'm like, you know, like butter, right? Because 
usually the person you're speaking to behind the counter, English is like their fourth language, right? It's not even their second language. It's like usually their third or fourth. It just gets to the point where like, <sighs> Forget it, Never mind. just give me my food. You're just giving me my food. I stopped going to these places mostly due to um, not wanting to deal with the stress of going to these places. Right? I mean, it's just like trying to get your order right. I can remember the last few times I went through the McDonald's, for example. I remember I like ordered all this food and it wasn't just for me, but it was like there was two other people with me. We ordered all this food. We've got like two bags of food. There's not any napkins in there. There's not a single ketchup in there. There weren't even straws in there for our drinks. I'm like, do we seriously have to go back like two miles back to this McDonald's and walk in for straws and napkins? Why isn't this in the bag? I mean, it, was, it would be things like that that would happen just one too many times. Or if my girl would ask for a sauce and be like, oh, could we get an extra sauce? And then you see like the worker go, you know, it's like, really, is it a, that big of a deal? I mean, really? You know, um, so the customer service was just horrific in these places. I mean, and a lot of times it would just ruin the meal because the whole time I realized, like me and my girl, we'd be like, we'd be eating halfway through our meal just talking about the horrible service we got. I'm like, why are we even wasting our time here? And we decided to just stop going. We're like, okay, well, let's just avoid these places. Let's, let's make a list of places that we don't like and just stop, start avoiding them. And funny enough, it was just these five fast food places. We noticed that did not happen at like In-N-Out, did not happen at Chick-fil-A. Uh, usually, I mean, 90% of the time, the customer service at In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A was pretty stellar. When you go to order your food, they would read back your order, right? They do. They read back your order, make sure they have everything just on par. Even when you're paying for it, they'd read it again. And then you go pay for it and there's your order. It's perfect, okay? I'd say probably one out of every like few dozen times they get something wrong at In-N-Out or Chick-fil-A. They're usually pretty dead on. Uh, they usually give you your food with a smile. You ask for an extra sauce. They're like, sure, no problem. They're like, thank you for coming in today. I mean, their hiring practices are obviously more superior than the other five fast food chains that I mentioned. And also too, I noticed that In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A, overwhelmingly, you still have kids working in there. You still have high school kids, very young college kids working in there. They're just happy to have a job. They're just happy to serve you and try to do a good job, right? So you could tell that these kids are vetted. Even these kids, I mean, there are a lot of bad kids that could have taken these jobs and they don't. Their hiring practices are way better. So uh, this is really why I just don't go to any fast food beyond In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A. If, if I'm ever craving like a Big Mac or something, I just get rid of the craving and go eat something else. I just rather not go to McDonald's, Burger King, because all these places, I it's just, Again, I don't want to deal with the rudeness. I don't want to deal with like getting the wrong order. All of these, these things happen fairly frequently too. It got to a point where it was like over 50% of the time, the order would be wrong in some way, shape or form. It got to the point where it's like, dude, I don't want to have to beg you for an extra sauce or beg you to like, give me an ice water. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I mean, it was, it got to that point And I was like, it's just kind of like very, uh, shocking to me that management and even the McDonald's Corporation, the Jack and Box Corporation, Burger King Corporation would allow this type of hiring to go on, this type of behavior to go on in their, um, in their restaurants. I'm a small business owner. The way I train my people is I train them on customer service. And a lot of you guys have commented on like, wow, I can't believe the level of customer service I got from you. And so many of you guys are like, wow, you're like a small business dude and your customer service is the best I've gotten in years. And they tell me stories about how like their local restaurant they've been going to, you know, since childhood can't give them the same level of customer service. And the way I look at it, as a business owner and an entrepreneur and somebody who acquires business is every time your employee interacts with uh, a customer, that is a branding opportunity. So every time any of my employees interact with any of our customers, it is a branding opportunity. It's an opportunity to show that, hey, we're listening to you, we care about you, we want to hear from you, we love to hear from you, and we're happy to serve you. We're here for you. And this is why I have staff on 24-7, 365 days a year. A lot of people don't know that. I'm the only uh, 
pickup company that has that really it's like 24 7 365 days a year we are here to answer your questions to respond to emails we're here and whenever you guys reach out to me through like instagram or something i'm always like dude reach out to my customer service that's why i'm paying them like big bucks they will answer all your questions they're there 24 7. my job is to create content and their job is to interact with customers and make sure you're happy and make sure that you have a great experience so as a business owner and any other business owners out there you have to understand anytime you interact with a customer anytime any of your employees interact with a customer it is a branding opportunity it's an opportunity for you to show that customer how happy you are that they're even patronizing your business because they could easily go elsewhere. I mean, there's a, you know, you don't need to go to McDonald's to get a hamburger, hamburger. You could go anywhere, right? So it's kind of shocking that these very, very large corporations have gotten so like entitled because they have so many customers where they could just hire employees who treat customers like shit. The fast food and restaurants that I named tend to do that. They tend to do that very often. I mean, if you look at a lot of their Yelp reviews or Google reviews, uh, they're pretty horrific. A lot of people just have nothing nice to say about them, but yet they keep going back. And I made the decision as a consumer to stop going because I'm like, I'm not gonna pay for this type of service right and those burgers aren't cheap anymore you go to like a burger king i mean they had like this steakhouse burger recently that i wanted to try but i didn't because i'm like i don't go to burger king no more it was like nine dollars i'm like nine dollars for this person to act like a shit to me and to give me no napkins and like kind of like throw a hissy fit if i ask for like zesty sauce or something i'm like it's just not worth it dude i'm like it's fine i'm just gonna order like I'm gonna order something at a restaurant, right? And I'm just gonna get takeout. You know, and even restaurants aren't perfect, right? So you just have to kind of like pick your poison. This is why I stop eating fast food for you guys who are curious, like, hey, you never go to McDonald's or Burger King or Jack in the Box, Carl's Jr., Wendy's. Why? Oh, you're trying to be healthy? I'm like, uh, it's not really that. I don't patronize businesses or give my money to businesses that don't want me there, right? You don't appreciate me. You don't, you're not happy that I'm there. One of my favorite uh, restaurants growing up was a restaurant called El Torito and I just got fed up with them. I stopped going there too just because the service got horrendous. They've gone bankrupt, not surprisingly, right? They've gone bankrupt. So yeah, customer service is really, 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 really huge and uh, it's the main reason why I just don't go to most fast food places outside of In-N-Out and Chick-fil-A. They're still hiring good employees and usually it's these kids who are fresh out of high school who will appreciate a job like that. But these other companies like McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Burger King, they're gonna hire like middle-aged workers who are just kind of like burnouts. It's like they don't even wanna be there. Um, so I don't wanna be there with them and I certainly don't wanna get my food from them. But that's my little snotty response to why I don't eat fast food. I just don't wanna deal with the rude service anymore. I don't wanna deal with the incorrect orders, constantly getting orders wrong. I can understand once in a while, but this is pretty frequently. And you would think too, like when you order something like nuggets, like my girl got nuggets uh, one time, they had like this special where they had like 20 piece nuggets for like five bucks or something. And then we kind of like fed some to the pigeons. As soon as we got those nuggets, like 20 piece nuggets, uh, we look in, there's there's no sauces in there. It was just nuggets. And we went back, we're like, can we get like a sauce for this? <laughs> and she was like, oh, what sauce did you want? <laughs> like, uh, sweet and sour, I guess. And then instead of giving us sweet and sour, she gave us like two barbecue. I'm like, I'm just dunking done with this place. I'm just done. I'm so done with McDonald's. I'm so done with Burger King. I'm so done with Jack of the Box. This was a hilarious rant on fast food, but I, I felt like I had to share it with you guys just for you guys who asked me. Hopefully this answers your question, but uh, I'm just done with the rude service. Uh, I still like in and out It's not my favorite place, by the way. I, I don't really crave in and out It's not my favorite place to go. Neither is Chick-fil-A. I don't eat chicken. My girl eats chicken. I don't eat chicken. But we still go to these places just because they treat you right. You know, the people working behind the counter, like they take your order with a smile. They're not frowning. They're not giving you dirty looks. They don't look like the world's about to end. Instead, they're smiling. They're happy. They're energized. They're excited that they still have a job. They're happy to get you whatever you want. You ask for like 10 sauces. They'll be like, sure, 10. You want 11? I'll give you 11. They have that type of attitude. And that's the type of attitude I try to instill in my own employees. I'm like, every 
interaction with the customer is a branding opportunity. And for McDonald's and these fast food places I mentioned, Burger King, they've just lost me as a customer and I'm sure it doesn't matter to them. It makes my life a whole lot less stressful. I don't have to worry about going to those places. I don't have to worry about craving any of their food, their french fries, their hamburgers, or their milkshakes. I just don't care. I don't care, right? I'll just go to a restaurant or I'll just get my food at a gas station. I don't care because I don't have to deal with their rudeness. I can just get it myself. That's part of the experience too. It's like when you go to buy your food from a restaurant versus eating at home, even if it's fast food, you know, you expect a little bit of experience. Otherwise, why not just eat at home? Right? Why not just get a TV dinner and eat at home? You don't have to eat there, but you choose to eat there. You could go to the burger restaurant down the street. No, you choose to go to Burger King or McDonald's or Jack in the Box. Even when you choose them, it's like they're not thankful about that. They piss on you. So I'm just done with those companies. Uh, in and out Chick-fil-A, uh, I'm down. Also, Fat Burger, which I've eaten at, at uh, in Vegas, was pretty good. Uh, the customer service was awesome. So I can't complain about Fat Burger either. But all the other ones I mentioned, yeah. Done, done. McDonald's, Jack in the Box, Burger King, Wendy's, Carl's Jr. Never coming again. I don't care. I don't need your food. Your customer service sucks. Your hiring practices suck. Your employees suck. Not all, but many of them. Enough to lose customers. Every time they interact with a customer the way they do, with that attitude, that like negative, hostile behavior, that reflects on your brand. So if any of the execs from those fast food companies happen to be watching, that is reflecting on your brand every time they interact with a customer like that. And I'm just one of millions. So think about that. So I'm gonna wrap up here. Until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out from my garage with my DeLorean over here in the background. Beautiful car. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it. Why? So that you get notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. Okay, so hit the notification bell as well. Otherwise, you will not be notified when I upload brand new coaching videos fresh to my channel. So make sure you're notified as well. And also, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Helps me out a ton with the YouTube algorithm. So make sure you subscribe as well. Okay, because it helps not just the channel out, but it helps out other men. Because the more people who subscribe to the channel, the more men we reach, right? And God knows men need this type of knowledge. All right, and for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content that I am teaching you even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut us down one day, right? All of my premium Alpha Male Secrets lessons will be protected. Why? Because I'm paying for this platform and it's encrypted. So nobody can take us down, right? It's a private encrypted platform where all of my Alpha Male Secrets coaching videos will remain forever. <laughs> so if you want to support my work, that's the best way to do it by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel. And right now it's only one buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. And it's real easy to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.